Let's discuss the mill frame block. In a mill frame block, much like the circle, it's just a one page block. When we get done entering all the information in the field shown, we'll be able to hit the draw button or could execute the program and actually mill whatever frame that we need. The first two fields in the mill frame ask for the X and Y corner. This is not part zero, but one of the corners of the frame that are most easy to determine by the dimensions on the print. In this example, we're looking at the bottom left corner. The next two fields ask for the X length and Y length of the frame. Using this information, the control is able to calculate the intersecting corner and thereby determining the size of the frame that you're milling. As I said, the XY corner does not have to be one particular corner. It can be any of the four corners that you can determine by print dimensions. In this example here, we see that the upper right corner is the um, XY corner in the frame. And the X length and Y length are both negative numbers because the length of each side of the frame traveling away from that corner we described is in the negative direction. Again, the control will calculate the intersection point and be able to mill the frame to size. Let's go through the block itself. Here we see a mill frame block and we know that it's the first block in the program because it's labeled block one. Again, the first two fields that we see on the uh, block is the XY corner. We simply type in the absolute position of one of the corners of the frame. We see the XY length. Again, from the print, we determine the length of the X side and the Y side of the frame and the direction, whether it be negative or positive, and we enter those into the fields. The Z start and Z bottom work just like they did in the circle. We want to wrap it to a Z start position somewhere above the part. And the Z bottom is the final depth of the frame or feature that we're cutting. In this case, it's a half inch deep, so it would be a negative 0.5 because it is below the surface of the part. This particular frame does have corner radiuses, so we would put a value in the corner radius field. That's going to apply the same size radius to all four corners of the frame. Next, we come to the center of the screen where we have the roughing, finishing, and SFQ tab, just like in the uh, mill circle block. We enter the tool, the milling type, the speeds and feeds, if we didn't put those in the tool, our peck depth and plunge feed. Now the milling type, exactly the same options we had with the mill circle. On means no cutter comp will be applied. Inside and outside will automatically blend on and blend off from the frame. And inside and outside tangent will mill the frame without the blending moves and pocket would remove all the material from the center out to the described frame. In this example, or the next print we're going to run, we are going to be using the milling type outside. Now I'd also like to point out that if you remember on the mill circle, when the blending, where we blend in and blend off, and where the circle begins was at the three o'clock position. Here we see the blending will happen at the 6 o'clock position. Now let's program the intro 3. The tool list will be a 9 16 center cutting end mill. And again, if you look at the right side of the screen, we have the bulleted points that takes you step by step on how to create the new program, set up your stock geometry, and what the speeds and feeds should be for this particular print. It has the mill circle. There is a separate video that you can watch, which is a step by step how to program this particular print and you can view that for reference if necessary.